all my life I've wanted to fit in, to be ordinary. So I thought moving to a new town would be my chance, my chance to be normal. But I was forgetting one little thing. I'm a vampire. We should have taken a left back there. Could you stop breathing in my face? You can't have brushed your teeth for weeks. Am I the only one gagging here? I can't believe we have to speak this stupid language. We've got to keep a low profile. And why did we have to move anyway? Please be quiet, Mistress Ingrid. I'm trying to read the map. Don't tell me to be quiet, insect biter. Right. That is it. <gasps> Don't you touch me, fungus! The brat! Creep! The witch! Pass face! Turn right! Come to a cretin! Freak! Far breath! Spider liquor! Scared picker! Snot eater! Red food! <laughs> Haven't you, Master? Silence! Ingrid wants Renfield to turn the hearse around and go back to Transylvania. Oh, you do, do you? And what about the angry, torch-wielding Transylvanian peasant mob, hmm? Would you like to go back to them, too? <laughs> yeah, well, better going back to face them than living in this dump. I mean, look at it. It's so... normal. <laughs> normal. That's just what I was thinking. Robin! 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 Peter, ma'am. Doing a good job with me and Paul. And me? Three out of four ain't bad. Just unfortunate you also had a weird old goth child. Ian, this isn't funny. He hasn't come out of his room all morning. And that's a bad thing? <laughs> if he doesn't come out, no-one's going camping. Oi! Let up! Open up! Oi! Can I proceed now, Master? Yes, yes. Good, it smells like a zombie's armpit in here. I thought so. It's Vlad's stupid stuffed dog. Well, he's not a dog. He's a wolf. And he doesn't smell. Well, actually, Master Vlad, I do smell a bit. My sawdust seems to have got a little damp in transit. <coughs> Renfield, drive. Sweet home. Maybe Dad should go on a diet. I heard that. Well, here we are, at last. Hmm. It's not exactly what I was expecting. I mean, where are the cobwebs, the damp, the rotting corpses? Look, Dad, you just said find a castle. It was the best I could find on the internet at short notice. Well, I suppose I might feel better when I've had someone to eat. Right, I'll get my things. Bagsy the tower room. Uh, I don't think so. I'm the elder, so I'm having that one. But I called it. When? In the hearse. Right. Well, I caught it before you were born, so kiss my cape. Please. This is very simple. 
Vladimir will have the room. Oh, brilliant. Oh, Ingrid, I do believe you're about to chew on that. This is because he's your favorite, isn't it? Yes, that's right. I hate you more than garlic. She is so much like her mother. In the attic. Uh, yes, master. Behind some boxes. Yes, master. Under a sheet. Thanks, Dad. Oh, Vladimir, there's no need to thank me. You are the son and heir of the Dracula family. It's only right you should have the best room. Well, actually, I only wanted the tower rooms so I thought I might get a TV. And the reception's there a bit. <laughs> Time to meet the neighbors. Not juicy enough. Go away. A TV, a TV. If you want to see moving pictures, Vladimir, run around the portrait gallery. Does he think he's living in the 19th century? Of course not, Master Vladimir. The Count thinks he's living in the 17th century. He's a few hundred years behind everyone else. I hate being a vampire. It really sucks. Isn't that rather the point? I just hope this move will be a new start for us. You know, a chance to be a bit less... Vampiric? Exactly. Come on, take a look at this. See? Semi-detached houses. Streetlights. A news agent. A golf course. It's also normal. Right. New life, new neighborhood. Time to check them both out. But, Vladimir, your father has forbidden us from leaving the castle. We need to keep a low profile. Zoltan, I'm a preteen vampire. That means I've got the reflexes of a night hunter combined with the incredible ability to sneak up behind my parents' back. Ingrid. And how's the Grand Sulk going? I've decided I'm going to go live with Mum. Ingrid, your mother's dead. You're dead. We're all dead. You still can't go and live with her. You're just mad because she left you for a werewolf. She did not leave me for a werewolf. We mutually agree to separate. After she met a werewolf. Vladimir keeps the room. It's his birthright. And what's my birthright? I don't know. Cleaning my capes. Housework. Something like that. I haven't really given it much thought. I hope you get some really painful splinters from your coffin. Mm. Ah! Renfield, my stomach tells me it's lunchtime. Time to sample a local peasant. No, Master. Promise you won't be uh, angry. No, I like being angry. Promise you won't hurt me. Again, not a commitment I feel I can make. We, um, we may have a food problem. What sort of problem? A sort of... we don't have any problem. What <laughs> do you mean? I thought you wanted to keep a low profile, so I turned a peasant away. <laughs> and what with the driving and the map reading and the cobweb hanging, I didn't have time to stock up with any fresh blood. To... <laughs> Weeks from Transylvania, and all I've had to eat is some black pudding in the motorway services. It's not good enough. I need a juicy peasant, or the very least, a steak. Mm. Extremely rare. Don't worry, Master. I'll think of something. Going somewhere? Yeah, just. You're not going anywhere, young vampire. Go to your room! But, Dad... You know which room's yours, don't you? It's the one that should be mine. I'm coming, Master! I hate sunlight. 
We're all going on a camping holiday, just some tents on the rope or two. We... Dad, you're making strange noises again. It's called singing, Robin. People do it when they're in a good mood. Oh, sorry, good mood. Hope I'm not confusing you with my complicated technical jargon. Ha ha. It's a small drama inside without a kind of mint cake. What? Oh, I can't do a Branagh family camping expedition without Kendall mint cake. This is a disaster, Elizabeth. I wish they'd do this stuff in black. I'm disappointed in you, son. I mean, where's this bad attitude coming from? Hmm? The cheeriness, the, the optimism. <sighs> love of the outdoors. Dad. And the clothes you wear. Why? Why the bright colours? Make my eyes hurt. It's what kids wear. Well, not my kids. Laddie, come stand here. This is what we are, son. We're vampires, what are we? Vampires. There's no escaping that. You know, in a few years, you will come into your full powers, and your reflection, like mine, will disappear. Now, I am going to sort out the food situation. Can't we have something normal? Like a hamburger? Uh, a person from Hamburg. No! Vampires. You can't escape it. <laughs> it's your destiny. <laughs> Okay, no cape. This is serious. If I wasn't already undead, I'd be... dead. Look, Master Vlad. Shh. Looks like someone's moved into the castle. You'd have to be pretty weird to want to live there. Mom, we can't find Robin anywhere. Where could the weirdo have got to? Okay, I'll go and get him. Sorry to bother you, but have you come to donate blood? What? A sign. Have you come to donate blood? No. Look, it's for a good cause. What cause? Lunch. No. I'm here because... Did you just say lunch? Uh, no, I've got, <clears throat> got a cough. Who is it? Some local peasant master. Beg your pardon? Well done, Renfield. So nice to see you, peasant. Do come in. OK, but first, I'm not a peasant. Can you stop staring at me like that? Like what? Are you sure you haven't come to donate blood? Yes. Oh. Just flirting with us, were you? Well, mm. sling your rook. <laughs> sling your rook? That was a ten-point delivery. But he, he said he didn't want to give blood. <laughs> they never want to give blood. That's why I've got these. <laughs> This is like a horror film. You know, one by one up to the castle, never to return. Though he is going to return, isn't he? 
He's probably talking to them about the Fleming. You know what he's like. Maybe someone should go up and get him. She can't go by herself. Right. Oh, you mean us? Come on, Paul. Shall I bite him, Master? Not yet. Right, lad, you rancid little worm. Quick, hide! Hide! Ah, here you are, in my room. It's not your room. What's that smell? Smell? What smell? Can you smell a smell, Zoltan? No, Master Vlad. Only your sister's cheap perfume. Shut it, your <coughs> wheels. I can smell something different. Something rather... Uh... Aha! No! I can't wait to tell Dad about this. I can explain. Oh, yeah. Climbed in through the window. Nothing to do with me. A massive pile of dirty laundry climbed in through the window. What? Where'd he go? Who, the dirty sock fairy? Uh, yeah. You're such a loser. <coughs> Sultan, did you see where that boy went? Unfortunately, I was distracted by the sawdust running down my left side. We better find him. Before Dad does. Please, Pastor. Take it out. No, Renfield. It's important that you know why you're being punished. Is it because I smell? No. Well, you do, but no, that's not the reason. Oh. Is it because I picked my nose and ate it? No. I have to go to the loo without washing my hands. No. Ugh. But no. The reason you're being punished is because I'm hungry! In fact, I'm starving, and when I'm starving, I get nasty. Oh, and that's why you put a tarantula down my shirt. Correct. <laughs> and also because I like watching you squirm. Oh, oh. oh I think she's just gone down my trousers. <laughs> Quiet. I've sensed an intruder. There is a human in the castle. I'm human master. Yes, well, a human that doesn't smell of mouse droppings. <laughs> Mm, I smell young blood. Right. Where are you? Mm? <laughs> so close. So very close. Find dinner. Well, it's just. I think I've got my first fang. A fang? Oh, my boy! Let me have a look. Hmm. I can't see anything. Never mind, my favorite child! Nurture him, why don't you? You just hate me because I'm a girl. No. He hates you because you're really annoying. Oops. Right. Oh, Master, I've sat on your tarantula. Amelda! No! Come on! <laughs> Amelda! If it's any consolation, Master, she wouldn't have felt a thing. Except your huge bottom squishing her. Hello, we haven't been properly introduced. My name's Vlad, and oh, you must be the kid who just climbed in through my window and started wandering around. Robin, I brought your cloak back. Oh, thanks. What are you doing? Aren't you going to bite me? Bite you? Why would I want to bite you? You can if you want. No. Oh, OK. You're lucky my dad didn't find you. You've got no idea what he's capable of. I know exactly what he's capable of. You're vampires, aren't you? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. What a silly idea. Talking wolf, bloodthirsty dad. 
first fine. Oh, but I knew this would happen. Please don't get an angry mob and drive us out of town. I think you're underestimating suburban apathy. Anyway, vampires are awesome. Awesome? I know everything there is to know about them. Or at least I thought I did. How come we got a reflection? Well, we don't come into our full powers until our 16th birthday. So, I've got a reflection. I can't turn into a bat. And I don't bite people. Really? I don't get burnt by sunlight or have an adverse reaction to garlic either. You know, for my first vampire, not coming across as very... Vampiric? Can I say for my first normal kid, you're not coming across very... Normal? Talking to yourself, you little freak. My darling sister. How nice of you to rudely walk in without knocking. Stick a stake in it. Ah, uh, yes, my socks. How did that get there? Hello. What are you playing at? You know we're not supposed to mix with breathers. What have we found out that we're... Vampires? Yes. Hang on. He knows. Yes, and it's fine. He's promised not to tell. Oh, he's promised. Well, that's fine, then. Listen to me, meat face. Swear by all that is morbidly evil not to tell anyone about us on pain of a long and gruesome death. You're very pretty. Yes, I am. Now swear. I swear. Good. Now let's get you out of here before my father decides to have you for dinner and us for dessert. Thanks, Ingrid. Well, you don't think I'm saving this stinking blood bag just to be nice, do you? Oh, no. You and I are going to have a little conversation about room allocation. OK. Give us our dad and brother back. Nah, too confrontational. Have you seen a man in sensible waterproof clothing and a weird-looking goth child? Look, you gonna knock or not? Yeah, you know, I'm just getting ready to <sighs> knock. You do the talking, nor you. Yes? Uh... Have you seen anyone wandering around here with a cloak? Yeah, loads. But I presume you want this one. Now get lost. You're quite rude, aren't you? It's my thing. Deal with it. See you then, Robin. Yeah. Come to mind if you fancy it any time. Number 22 down the hill. Oh, thanks. Oh, hey. Maybe you could do me a favour. Get these things for me? Sure. So, will we be seeing you again? Perhaps. Catch you later. I can't believe you were so dumb. Do you have any idea what Dad would have done if he caught us talking to those breathers? Cut our allowance? And our throats. Oh, I think you underestimate me, my darling children. Split up. Then perhaps one of us will live. Come on. <sighs> Come on. Let's find Dad. Mixing with zombies I could forgive, understand even, but breathers! Socialising with possible dinner ingredients. Dad. We don't want to be driven out again. Perhaps we should be blending in more. More blending, less biting. Then maybe we wouldn't have angry mobs storming the castle. Ah, oh, now that, that was the result of a small misunderstanding between me and the village elders. You trained their blood. Well, all right, a big misunderstanding. But... Here's a radical idea. How about actually being friends with our neighbors? Friends with our neighbors? <laughs> right, that's it. Definitely no contact. Just go to your rooms. Talking of rooms, we're swapping. Nobody is swapping rooms without my permission. In fact, from now on, nobody does anything without my permission. Now get out of my sight! You're a disgrace. I think sometimes the boy hates me. You could always kill him. Not helpful, Renfield. I'll go, Master. Mm.
No one there. But I found this on the doorstep. It's for Master Vlad. We'll open it. Huh. Something called a Juice Atron. 3,000. Oh. And some steaks. Mm. Vladimir. Vladimir, I, I wanted to say thank you for the meat. If I had a working heart, it would have been touched. Vladimir. Vladimir? Hey, Robin. Wow. You flew up to my window. Um, no. I climbed up. Oh. Are you sure you're a vampire and not a burglar? Yes, Robin. So, what happened to the camping trip? Cancel. My dad keeps falling asleep for some reason. It'll wear off. Oh, great. Well, I'll go get some drinks. Cup of blood, little bit of milk. Joke. So this is what my room should look like. I don't drop you. D Dad! My name is a vampire. <laughs> 